Over 70% of viewers are not subscribed to Globetrotting, so feel free to join the channel if you haven't already. Now, the X66A certainly sounds mysterious and almost like a project that's in the making, and that's because it is. But still, according to many, it could be an essential part to Boeing's future aircraft portfolio. But what on earth is the X66A, why has it amassed so much interest, and what's its future within the industry? Will it really be the replacement to the 737? First, I need to step back and better explain this plane. The X66A may ring more of a bell if I make mention of the Boeing Truss Braced Wing Airliner, a study that was unveiled some time ago, but has certainly recently gathered speed. It's part of a request for proposals for future planes at NASA, and all part of the work to innovate and find the following type of aircraft to lead the future. Very generally, the TTBW for short would focus on being aerodynamic, while its fuselage would look very similar to anything we really see today, at least in its current development form. Its wings would be where the significant changes would occur and make it not quite look like your typical narrowbody. The wings would be more aerodynamic as they would be supported by those trusses that you see shaped in a diagonal form. Unveiled in 2019, as mentioned though, this has been an ongoing project since the early 2010s and has certainly gathered a lot of pace as the years have progressed and more funding has arrived. Fuel burn thanks to these wings will see also a significant reduction, as highlighted in the early stages of testing, and the mission would be to increase that with time. So with all the new technology over current narrowbody planes, it would crush them, with better efficiency right across the board, and naturally what you would expect if as an airline you were making an upgrade to the next generation of planes from say a 737 MAX or a 320 NEO type plane. But as we've seen before, risks are involved with such a large wingspan. Not necessarily while in the air, but on the ground, as very simply, when aircraft enter a gate, they need to be capable of the tight constraints already currently present with airports nowadays. There's not a whole lot of room to expand, and if even minimal gates are being changed, that's going to cost a lot of money and see ramifications right around the airport. The A380, as you know, was so large that airports wishing to accommodate it had to change their infrastructure to allow it to pass through entirely and with the sheer number of passengers, there were changes inside the airport too. The Boeing 777X has quite the wingspan itself. Still, Boeing has navigated that by implementing folding wingtip technology. The wingtips raise while on the ground so the plane can fit into the gate spaces and also on taxiways without changes being made to accommodate it, and of course it lowers while in flight to boost efficiency similar to what you see with the 787 Dreamliner and that fantastic wing flex technology. So with so much talk about the TTBW, how did it get the X66A designation? What's next and will we ever see this plane in some capacity? In June of this year, that being 2023, the program was designated as the X-Plane, precisely and very much officially known then as the X66A, an experimental research aircraft intended to better understand commercial aviation's future directions. Overall, the X-66A is part of a substantial fund that includes USD $425 million from NASA over the next seven years, and USD $725 million from Boeing and its partners across the same time frame. The funds seen here will help develop and test the aircraft, as all parties are currently working towards building a full-scale demonstrator to begin flight testing in 2028. If the program continues to track along at a solid pace, it'll be fundamental to the future of potentially Boeing's aircraft program too. Why? Well, Boeing has ruled out any new aircraft, especially in that lucrative middle-of-the-market sector, or even a 737 MAX replacement, until the 2030s. The company very publicly said that it wanted to wait until it believed this time frame. Why? Well, new technology it says that would be leaps and bounds ahead of what is available now would be ready to go at that point and be implemented into the next generation of commercial aircraft. 
It is a massive risk, though, because if that technology isn't available, say at the deadline for Boeing as they're looking to move ahead further with a new aircraft, they leave themselves open for the second time at that point in a decade for European plane maker Airbus to come in and steal a large portion of the market share. Like what they're doing now in the middle of the market sector with their A321 series, as they remain unrivaled from Boeing, who doesn't really have anything themselves left to offer. So with no new aircraft until the 2030s, could this transonic brace wing demonstrator be a very crucial part of the future once it gets in the air? That'll only be known with time, and even if it's not the X-66A specifically, the demonstrator once hopefully flying by 2028 will provide Boeing, NASA, partners, and I would argue many more within the industry, some invaluable knowledge conducted through thorough testing to plan the future best and see what direction we're heading in with the next generation of planes that need to, of course, not only be efficient, but help meet so many airlines goals of becoming more efficient when flying and to decarbonize air travel. So will this be a plane therefore flying around in airline colors sometime in the future? Ultimately, like I said, it's too early to tell as you'll see on regular occurrence many concepts flying around. But with over 1 billion in current investments to be pledged by partners in the coming years to fund a demonstrator and all the tests associated with that, all parties are definitely serious about this aircraft, and when you look at the team that are surrounding it, Boeing and NASA, if it can stick to the goals of having 30% better fuel burn over current narrowbody planes, it really could be the answer that not only Boeing is looking for as the next generation of planes arrive, but also for airlines that will be looking to replace some of their narrow bodies in the future. Maybe they're looking for something different, or their oldest 737 Maxes are now reaching 20 or so years. What is known is that the tests that will be conducted from 2028 onwards, and even the ones very generally taking place now, albeit not on a full-scale demonstrator, will be really important for all the associated companies at really determining where they want to head with the following commercial aircraft, which is now currently shaping up to be pretty exciting, as you have Boeing working together with NASA for this, and Airbus studying their own types of technology there. Whether this channel will be around to see all of this develop, I somewhat doubt it, but still, nevertheless, I'm sure I'll be watching from the sidelines, maybe just like you, and I would love to hear your thoughts. There are many very strong opinions surrounding the 737 MAX, and generally the 737 series that is in need for a bit of a revitalization, and could that be in the form of something totally different and not once more a re-wing or re-engined? Let me know down below in the comments and whether you have opinions even on Airbus's direction with regards to narrowbody planes and how the X-66A may affect that, you can also drop your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you very much for your continued support right here on Globetrotting. To be sure to take care and also be safe, I'll see you next time right here on the same place, answering all those awesome questions that you provide and many more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And we'll fly.